Well, welcome back to Two Wants to Know. Money expert Janae Adams is answering your questions about getting debt under control, stretching your dollar as far as it can go. You can continue to text those questions. All right, so here's what we have right now in the queue. This person says, what was the uh, number one thing that helped you get out of debt and remind people how much debt you got out of so that they'll know. Um, and the, this person also says, I've not purchased your book yet. Does it have a workbook like a step-by-step -step in the book? And so I paid off $50,000 of debt in two years, and it was solely based on mindset. A lot of people don't like to hear that answer, but unless you have goals and dreams in front of you, your why, it's hard to do the how. And as far as the step-by-step, -step, I don't have a workbook, but the book takes you step-by-step -step of what we did. It's not just motivational, inspirational. It's a step-by-step -step what you need to do in order to pay off any kind of debt that you have. All right. And part of that really was, I mean, it took two years. So this was not a get out of debt really quick thing. Not at all. No, it was hard work. It was hard work. I mean, you guys, you did not eat out for two years. And I, exactly. and I know you. I've heard you say most people can't do that. But what they can do is what? What they can do is just take it one step at a time. They can't go as hard as we did, but just understand that whatever your pace that you want to go is the amount of time it'll take. So maybe it won't take two years, maybe it'll take three or five years, but you'll, you'll definitely get there. Is it something that you think that it needs to be written down somewhere where you can see it and you can see that you're chipping away at it here and there? And it just depends on the per person. I, when you can see that it's going, like it's going down each and every month, where I'm doing that now with my mortgage, it makes you feel a lot better. It makes you want to find more money. Yeah. All right, so this person says, my FICO score reflects combined credit lines with my spouse, but for some reason it only reflects my income, which makes it a low score. What can I do? If I was this person, I would definitely call the three credit bureaus and let them know what the issue is so that they can start making those changes for you. It is something definitely you can do on your own. Uh, it might take some time, it might take some effort and some patience, but you definitely can take the time to call all three boroughs and fix that for, you, for yourself. This person says, can I opt out for just one child for the ta tax credit or is it all or nothing? Unfortunately, it's all or nothing. It, it's already a new thing for the IRS and to be able to split children up and ask them to do that, it's probably gonna be too hard at this point. Right. Some of us just want our tax refund back, right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right. So this person is asking, how can I change my banking information before the next tax credit payment? And that's the portal that the IRS has. Yeah. So they can go to the portal on the IRS and get that done immediately because it is very backed up right now on all fronts with the IRS. And so if I were you, I, if I were you, I would try to keep it the same if you could, but if you can't get it done ASAP, like by Monday. Yeah, and the um, portal that is gonna allow you to change your income, your marital status, how many dependents you have, that's not up and running yet. They say that's gonna come up in late summer. So we're looking at late August, maybe September folks for that one. All right, this person says, what can I do to pay down my student loan debt? Well, definitely, this is the time to do that because it's on a pause through September 30th, and they're thinking about extending that as well. So seeing what money that you have at the end of each month, I don't care if it's $20, $50, add that to the principal, and that's going to make it down, come down a lot faster. That's what we did when we were paying off the $50,000 of debt. That was our strategy. Find extra money, sell things, cut things back, throw it all at that student loan at the principal and pay it down right now because the interest doesn't matter. All right, this person says, how does a single person with a minimum wage job save? I have 30,000 in debt. Yeah, so that, that is a definitely a big hill to climb. One of the things is just take it one day at a time. Look at what your debts are and list them out from smallest to largest and start to put money towards that. You also may have to get more income if you're making minimum wage. Um, a website to look at is RAT race rebellion rat race rebellion is a part-time job but it's a work from home job that pays 10 to 25 dollars an hour so it's even more than you're making right now to be able to save some money rat race rebellion all right and someone just asked what is the name of your book <laughs> the name of my book is the money attractor everyone's guide to win with money so they can live their dreams and it's on amazon the okay. money attractor the money attraction. All right. And that is Janae Adams, who was our expert for today. We want to make sure that you have all of this on the website. It's going to be in the two wants to know section. We're putting both of these segments there so that you can uh, find the answers to your questions and also so that you can also have Janae Adams as one of your resources.